What's up guys? Make it as frictionless as possible. So this morning I woke up on our routine, uh, seven, wake up, 7.30 group meditation, 7.40 train, Muay Thai. Now I won't lie to you guys, I woke up this morning and I felt like death. <laughs> We've been training incredibly hard here and obviously as a former game of bro. My conditioning, my cardio, my work rate, my flexibility, my strength are all being incredibly tested because of how hard we are pushing ourselves. So yeah, I woke up this morning and my body was aching. I felt tired. I got a bit of a late night the previous night. But you know what, dude? Um, surprisingly, I, I was lying there in bed and I opened up the WhatsApp group for me, Hamza and Nabil, and I was literally just staring at it, like contemplating to send a message, I'm gonna skip Muay Thai today. And this is the power of having very strong-willed friends who are willing to push you because it's kind of like when you're training in MMA or you're in a gym, you've got a friend who's like, you know, spotting you, you push yourself that extra bit further because you have accountability, you have someone watching. And I know for a fact, that if I put in that group chat, guys, I'm gonna skip my tie today, there was going to be a challenge to that. <laughs> That was going to be challenged. And I think that's so fucking cool because that is seriously like life hack to just pushing everything out of each other 100% of the time. So I lay there with this WhatsApp group chat up and I was contemplating sending the message and I was just like, I can't fucking do it, man. So I got up, I put on my speaker, I started playing my 21 Savage Life Talk, which is a song I wake up to every single morning now because I'm on my warrior shift and I need some like very high murder music energy uh, to, to get me into that frame of mind. And then I realized I had put my washing out the day prior and I didn't have a pair of shorts available which would be suitable for working out in. I only had these like denim chino type of shorts and that was enough for me to literally do a complete 180 and stick with I'm not going to go to Muay Thai. I went to the group meditation, I started that up and then I said to the guys like guys I'm going to skip Muay Thai because I don't have any shorts to fucking wear. And they were like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're coping. You can just borrow a pair of my shorts, blah, 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 blah. We did the meditation. We came back to it um, immediately after. And I just said, guys, am I coping? And they were like, yeah, you are, bro. And I was like, okay, Hamza, go get me a pair of your shorts, bro. Luckily for me, I have these friends around me to tell me you're coping. You're being a dumbass. There's solutions. However, if I didn't have that at that point in time, I 100% wouldn't have went to Muay Thai this morning. And I don't regret going to Muay Thai because it's fun. It might be challenging and very tiresome, but by the end of it, I am always grateful that I went. And I almost didn't go because of the smallest, dumbest logistical problem, which could have been solved like that. And you know what? When the problem arised, that when I realized that I don't have a pair of shorts to wear, one of the first things I thought was, oh, I can maybe borrow one of Hamza or Nabil shorts, it's not a problem. But for some reason, like my brain didn't want to do the Muay Thai. And so it took the easy way out. This ties into the video title, guys. Make it as frictionless as possible. If you're struggling to set up a habit, I'm gonna use the gym as an example because that's the one that relates to me knows, but you could literally apply this to fucking anything, any habit that you wanna form. Make it as easy as you possibly can for yourself. For example, going to the gym. Set out your gym clothes ready. Make your pre-workout the night before. Put your shoes and your bag. Set everything up. Put everything that you need in your bag the night prior. Put your shit right next to your door so you can get out of bed, walk downstairs, brush your teeth maybe, unless you're British. Hit the gym. That's if you like me anyway and you like thrive from just getting out of bed and immediately going to the gym. I found that that's like a bit off topic, but like that's where I do my best workouts for some reason. Literally get out of bed, do the bare essentials, leave, go to the gym. Stop leaving these small tasks and logistical issues for future you to deal with because future you has the friction and the barrier of entry of getting out of bed and going to Muay Thai to worry about 
and that's plenty to worry about as it is. Like I say, I woke up this morning and my body was fucked and I was very close to just sending a text in the, in the WhatsApp group. But ultimately, I actually overcame that. It was the friction of not having a pair of shorts to wear that ultimately made me cope. Think about this right now, guys. What is a habit which you would love to form? What is a habit which you would like to cease to exist? Which habit, like smoking? You don't want to smoke, do you? Smoking big bad. You look cool though. Oh, shut up, bro. <laughs> so, okay, let's say I'm addicted to smoking. What is something I could do right now to make future Sam's job easier to quit smoking? Okay, so... I could put my cigarettes out of my range of peripheral vision, so I'm not constantly reminded that they exist. I could buy any nicotine patches, or I don't, I, I don't smoke, so I don't know, but like, you know, people have things which are supposed to help you get off cigarettes. I would buy those ahead of time and have them ready for when I wanted to quit my cigarettes. I could make the conscious effort to stop hanging around the sort of environments where smoking cigarettes becomes very easy. I had this personally, like I say, I don't have a problem with smoking, but uh, when I used to go out to like clubs and raves, there were two occasions where I bought a pack of cigarettes. And the first occasion I bought them, I smoked 14 cigarettes in one night. I went from like smoking nothing at all. You know, sometimes my friend would hand me a blunt, ooh, like whatever. I went from zero to 14 cigarettes in one night. That's the sort of environment where it becomes very easy to chain smoke uh, and to smoke just in general. Like understand your own, ha this is going way off topic, but understand your own habit. Like why do I do this thing? When do I do this thing? I should avoid that then. I should avoid what causes me to engage in this. And to be honest, dude, a lot of the time it's, it's poor mental health, man. If you have like bad habits, it's usually because you have poor mental health. But yeah, just a random example, like make it as frictionless as possible. Just setting yourself up for success and making your habits as easy as possible for yourself to go through with. Pretty simple concept, but a lot of people don't talk about this stuff. A lot of people don't even think about this stuff. And then they wonder like, oh, why can't I do the thing? Why am I constantly eating chocolate all the time? It's because you've got chocolate in front of you, dude. Remove the chocolate. Stop buying chocolate. Hope that was helpful. Take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow.